The process of twinning towns or sister cities in the UK came about after World War II, as a scheme intended to foster friendships and cultural understanding in the post-war world. But there's one particular twinning that I wanted to learn some more about, because, well, it is an odd one. Okay, this is it, guys. Welcome to paradise. Back in 2009, this commuter town on the outskirts of London officially twinned with a paradise island over 6,000 miles away. So what I want to know is, how the hell did that happen? Hello and welcome to Staines. Five words I never thought I'd say on this travel channel. By all accounts, Staines is just a normal English town. It's not great, it's not terrible, it's just Staines. Only 30 kilometers from London, it was founded by the Romans in the mid first century, when it was home to one of only two bridges crossing over the River Thames. Later, it became a thriving market town and these days, not a whole lot has changed. Staines is still well known for its shopping. There's a busy retail park and a fast train connection into central London. And the riverside paths, actually make it quite pretty in places. But despite that, Staines has a bit of an image problem. This town is probably most famous for being the home of Ali G. And ever since that character claimed Staines as his own, the local council have wanted to shake off any sort of association with him, even going so far as in 2012 to change the name of the whole town to the much posher Staines upon Thames. Fancy. But a few years earlier, the town made another move that raised a few eyebrows when they officially twinned with the Paradise Island of Mauritius. By the 2000s, town twinning became a way to form strategic business relationships based on shared interests, even when those interests were just a bit of a laugh. People in Manchester have only just realised that they've been twinned with Wuhan, China for over 30 years. But just from the word twin, you'd be safe to assume that there should be some similarities between the places involved. And not many people could see the similarities between Staines and an African island paradise. Using a simple eye test, here's Mauritius and here's Staines. Here's Mauritius and here's Staines. The move was understandably met with some laughs, some anger, but mostly just confusion. A confusion that I can definitely relate to. I actually used to work near Staines and I used to come through town every day and I always saw this sign and I always wondered what the story was behind it. And it's just up here on top of Staines Bridge. Let's go and have a look. Oh, tell you what, Staines is getting some Mauritian weather today. It's bloody boiling. Hundreds of people commute over this bridge every day and I was one of them a few years ago. So here's the sign that confirms it all. Spellthorn Borough, of which Staines is the main town, is officially twinned with Melun in France and Grand Port Savan in Mauritius. Welcome to paradise. It's safe to say it can't be anything to do with looks. I stopped at the local Spellthorn Museum, but it wasn't open to give me any more facts. But now I really want to know why there's a mammoth on that wall. So instead, I did my own research with a little help from Google. When you look specifically at Grand Port, this is where things start to make a bit more sense. Staines is very close to London Heathrow, the biggest airport in the UK, so it's a main transport hub. And Grand Port is also home to the biggest airport on Mauritius. British holidaymakers fly there all the time, and they're both big hubs for trade. Another reason is that at the time when the twinning was made, the mayor of Spelthorn was actually born in Mauritius, so the Mauritian High Commission wanted to create some sort of link to celebrate him reaching that position, which is nice. That mayor himself also said that the two places had a lot of ideas they could share, especially when it came down to, wait for it, waste management. Yep, not what I expected. The mayor was actually quoted as saying that none of the supermarkets in Mauritius give out any plastic bags, so I guess that counts. And to be honest, that's all of the reasons I could find on the internet. I'm starting to think that the councillors of Staines just wanted a nice cultural exchange to Mauritius, if you know what I mean. 
as far as I know, there's not even a local Mauritian restaurant in Staines for me to try, but don't worry, I've done my research. I know that one of the national dishes of Mauritius is a biryani, and you can definitely find that here. Goods. Let's find a nice view. Here we go, look at this. Not the view, the food. I am absolutely starving. In case you don't know, a biryani is like a mixed rice dish. I think it's fried rice. Went for a chicken tikka biryani, so let's give it a try. Mmm. <laughs> that is very nice. It's got a nice little kick to it, actually. I've got no idea what else is in there apart from chicken, but it's really nice. So here we are in the Mauritius of the UK, eating some Mauritian food, sort of, with some Mauritian weather. What more could you ask for? I can honestly say, I never thought I'd end up making a video here. <laughs> From Southeast Asia to Staines, the decline of the travel vlogger during a pandemic. So when you dig a little bit beneath the surface, I suppose you could say there are some similarities between Staines and Mauritius, but really it's a little bit tenuous and every time I pass that sign, I'll still have a little chuckle. Thanks for watching, see you next time. Uh-oh, they're after my biryani. <laughs>